All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Simplistic, and welcome back to another video. Now today, or tonight, I should say, I'm starting off the video in a different setting than usual. I am currently in a huge field. The reason for why I'm out here is actually for my curiosity of what is out there. Literally everything about it is just so interesting. And the number one question that has not been solved to this day, other than human beings, is there life somewhere out there? For me, it's an absolute no-brainer. There are literally trillions of galaxies out there. You're telling me not one of them has aliens? I mean, you guys see it all the time, whether it's on the internet or on a news station. There are so many different videos and photos of UFOs, and you could argue that a majority of them are fake. But what about the ones that look too real to be true? I don't know exactly where I'm going with this, but I just had to share my opinion just to let you guys know what side I'm on. No way. There's absolutely no way. I have to turn on the TV right now. Breaking news coming to you live from Los Angeles. I am Noah Beck. This is 100% real coming out of the United States, specifically in Portland, Oregon. This is absolutely insane. I cannot believe my eyes. I never thought this day would come. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found a UFO. So close to me, it's only two states away. I cannot let this opportunity slip away. I think you guys know what that means. All right, y'all, we just pulled up to the airport. Just a few hours ago, we were debating on if aliens were real. Now we're here trying to prove it. Destiny. Are you ready? I'm not. Why? Because you really pulled up to an airport. How else are we going to get there? Are you dumb? I don't want to get there. Yeah, because you don't want to believe. I'll prove it to you. If you guys didn't know, I was actually like raised by aliens. That's why I look like one so much. I have this big head. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I have a big head for a reason. I actually got these tickets like two hours ago, and she has no idea where we're even going in the first no place. Idea. I'm scared. We're going to Alaska, guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm down. That's why I love you. You're down for anything. Oh, hello. There you go. Thank you. I'm so excited to finally meet my other side of my family and reconnect with them. It's been so long. It's going to be so sick. They look exactly like me. All right, y'all, we just landed in Portland. It's my very first time here. This is crazy. Since we're only here for two days, I want to maximize my experience. For day one, I think we should explore a little bit and warm ourselves up to the environment to see what the city is all about. We should check out some food places, do some fun activities. And then for day two, we are going to visit our friends from infinity and beyond, AKA my long lost family members, because I have a big head and big eyes, and I look like I should definitely be from outer space, right? You're not supposed to agree. Let's get our day started. I have a question. Do you believe in aliens? I think so. We're about to see them on, the, on our trip. I don't believe in aliens. <laughs> I'm trying to tell her it's real. Then you go to Google, right? Yes, trust. <laughs> if, if it's on Google, that means it's true. So I was supposed to bring an astronaut costume, but uh, let me just show you guys what it looks like. Bro brought the wrong size. Bro, so I got the best size for her, and I don't know why she didn't wear it. And you got a size for like a 10 year old. So we got a hotel for day one, but for day two, we're actually gonna be staying with the aliens. Isn't that crazy, bro? We're staying with, <laughs> wait, why are you laughing? I'm serious. But for now, let's see what Portland has to offer. Thank you. Have a good one. Let me know if you see any aliens, okay? So just for tonight, behind me is the place we're gonna be staying at. It's called the Society Hotel. We're joining a society. Keep in mind, we did get up for our flight at 6 a.m. today. We went five. Well, 5 a.m., you're right. Actually, 4, 4. Okay, okay, go inside, dude. So our room isn't gonna be available for another few hours, so we do have some time to kill. She's pissed because she wanted to sleep. I went to sleep, bro. I don't care, we have to push through now. But this place has a very nice cafe, and the lady at the front was telling us that the view at the top of the hotel is really nice. So I think the we should rooftop. go check that out. The rooftop, yeah. She's gonna let us know. So they actually have a whole different menu just for Zodiac signs. It's, I guess, that type of hotel, so. Oh, really? It's, yeah. I mean, I'm a Virgo, so I don't know what that means, but. I think I'm a Cancer. You're a Cancer? Yeah, we're definitely not compatible, bro. Get out of here. Ow. I love when people talk about Zodiac signs because, I don't know, I don't think it means anything. Bro, okay, I'm sorry. If you guys believe in it, that's cool. I respect it, but it's like, for people to go up to you and be like, oh, I have a different one than you, so we can't be friends, I think that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Since our check-in time is not until later, we decided to get a coffee just to get some energy for the day. And meanwhile, my girlfriend's doing her makeup in the lobby because we don't have a room yet. First thing I'm trying
trying out here, of course it's a coffee. It's way better than Starbucks, bro. What you talking about? From what I've seen and heard is that this city is very much about nature. Lots of places to go sightseeing, waterfalls, hiking. It's all about that. So with that being said, for our first day here, I'm really excited to dive deep and see what this place is all about. And fun fact, on top of that, Nike was actually made here. Literally got some on right now, matching the fit. You know what I'm saying? I definitely dress for the occasion. All right, y'all. I want you guys to tell me the difference between this picture and my girlfriend. <gasps> I do. My eyebrows look like that right now. I want you guys to tell me the difference between this picture. Hey, that's what we're going to see tomorrow. That's my cousin, Jerry. Jerry? Yeah. Bro, how do you have a picture of my cousin on your phone? Babe, babe, babe. What? Babe. What? Make it happen. Goodbye. Ready to see the rooftop? If this disappoints me, you guys can dislike the video if you haven't already. Look at how nice it is. Whoa. Wait, this is sick. Stop, this is actually so nice. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna take pride in this. I am the best when it comes to booking things, especially hotels. I never miss. Like, look at this view that we have right here. This is amazing. Get to enjoy our coffee up here too. Great way to start off the trip. Babe, what do you think behind the camera? I think it's so ugly. Anyway, so far starting off our morning, this is beautiful. I definitely want to come here later at night too to see how the vibe is. So we're in downtown right now. This place is definitely different from the cities that I'm used to. So usually I would see very large skyscrapers, but this place is giving me a very quiet, homey type of feeling. I think it's time to explore. Before we go out into the world, let's see a fit check. Fit check, okay, so I have a one piece on from Fashion Nova. And then I put these cargos on because because it is cold out here. And I'm wearing my Panda Dunks, shout out to my mans, and then my Prada glasses. We got something special. We got a two piece from Dolce & Gabbana, very colorful, blue, black, and green. Matches perfectly, obviously, because <laughs> it is a two piece, so it's supposed to match. We also got on a chain. It's silver with touches of color all over. See that hint of green? <laughs> to match and then we move on to the shoes that were probably made out here because nike's from portland all green dunks to match along with everything else overall price priceless all right baby it's time to start our adventure and it looks like the area we're staying in is actually chinatown because i mean it kind of says it everywhere i mean you could just kind of tell by the lanterns and it also has a portland chinatown museum so that's kind of cool first thing on the list is waterfall waterfall time i know a really good one that i used to go to all the time let's embrace and the outdoors <laughs> actually, i actually got scared all right let's go i didn't know i was gonna have like fan love out here like that what's your name isaiah, isaiah. shout out to isaiah man hey, thank first you, fan of the video hey, welcome to portland <laughs> thank you bro hey what do you recommend we do out here enjoy the views maybe go up to the skyline the hills see the see a view maybe okay try the voodoo donut voodoo donuts i heard that's a big thing out here yeah guys it's so dead here i'm actually scared dude like no one's in the streets like at all i feel like this place is like make-believe they only use it for like commercials and stuff one car but like bro where is everyone it's saturday hello 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 i just think we're so used to being in california with so many people surrounding us that this is just weird but at the same time i kind of like it starting to pour down a little bit we just got some food in our system it was a great burger i would give it a solid seven i give 10. it like a seven yeah right mm -hmm. it was really good though it was it was pretty good So we just got dropped off right now and I'm getting a sneak peek. This is so beautiful. Probably more beautiful than her. This is insane. Definitely the biggest waterfall I've ever seen in my life. And the way to get there is actually through a little tunnel that we have to go through. So let's go. Bro, if Rug was here, he'd be going crazy over this tunnel. It's just not haunted though. Me being from California, I am not used to any of this. Like nature, real nature. This is beautiful. It's cool and all, but I don't know if it's enough to make me want to move here. I'm a Cali boy at heart. I'm a horse girl at heart. She's actually from Washington, so. Makes sense. Got some rocks in the hand. I want to skip one. All right, let's see the skip. <laughs> that was trash. Spell. Let's see his skip. Saying mine was trash. Bro, <gasps> you actually got like four. Really? Yeah. Two. Two skips. When people see my videos, they literally do that. Two skips. I'm already starting to feel the mist of the waterfall. Damn, this is crazy. I feel like every single water droplet absolutely just smacking my face right now. And I want nothing more. overall experience 10 out of 10 this is insane i don't know i just feel like this deserves a like on the video so you know what to do for the waterfall not for me now that we soaked in the aroma here next spot i want to check out is called the japanese garden it's a garden that's japanese it's also very naturey destiny what do you think about that think about what that's all folks. I absolutely love the ambiance of this place, like the sound. Anyways, we soaked in everything we needed to soak in here. Time for the Japanese garden. We are now about to enter the land of aesthetic. Because anything Japanese is aesthetic. Look at the bamboo. 
to garden and village stay on path. The lady at the front said if we don't stay on path, a guy with a samurai sword is gonna so we better be careful. So my camera died, so we're using my boyfriend's wonderful camera. That's why the quality probably changed. Yeah, it's probably way better. But we're here at the Japanese garden. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, in the car, I was so tired. Now I have so much energy. How tired was I in the car? She was literally gonna pass out. You know how when you get hangry? I was yeah. getting tired. Sangry. Cause like sleepy and angry, sangry. Slangry. I made a new word. All right, let's go see the garden. So we are about to enter the dojo. Once we cross this path right here, there's no turning back. I didn't think I was gonna sound this sophisticated, but I love the architecture of this place. This is what I want my future house to look like, right? I thought you don't want it in a forest. <laughs> With you. Wow, it's like we're in a little town. Dang, look at this place. Matcha, I love matcha. <gasps> Actually, we should get it, babe. Wow, even down to the pottery, man. Let me see what they have here. Matcha and chocolate mochi ice cream, bro. They already have me sold. I just wanna say, let us know in the comments if you enjoy these travel videos, because I we love, love them the most. Out of any other videos we can make, traveling ones are my personal favorite i know it's yours just let us know if you guys want us to go to a specific place next time or what you think of them in general we ordered cake mochi miso soup and matcha so they gave us these like napkin things that you wash your hands with it looks like this at first though it's kind of crazy all right here we go some rice in there too good thing i actually got this because my throat's been hurting sick plastic right now hits the spot though right yeah my favorite part about all this so far is that everything is literally simplistic not too much not too little sim plastic like sim plastic bro like that's so <laughs> funny <laughs> L joke. <laughs> Shima. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, and the mochi. Thank you. Cheers. Tastes like water. That's without milk and stuff, that's why. Uh, yeah. This ain't Starbucks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the cake. Uh, so ignore to... that. It's not like I just took a bite. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Destiny didn't almost eat the whole thing, but it's all good. The consistency is really good, actually. Yeah. And I think you can eat these too. They're erasers. Yeah. Let's move on to the mochi. Green tea mochi, hitting the spot. Hello, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Conrad. Conrad, my name's Tulip. You don't like your name, Tulip. Can I have a Tulip? Not with that attitude. I love the sound of the birds. I know, I've been hearing them all day. But at a certain point, they need to shut their trap. I hope you guys are getting the actual vibe that's going through this camera right now. A Mayadori, Japanese for taking shelter from rain. Glass stringers in collaboration with the gardeners. I think it's that thing right there. Oh, look, there's some koi fish. They're just surviving just in there. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something else. Like you wanted some sushi. That's how our daughter is gonna be. <laughs> look how beautiful this is. Guys, drop a comment if Noah should marry me. Drop a like. <laughs> drop a subscribe, bro. Loki, I'm getting kind of tired. Oh my god, you? here we go again. Now we're just chilling in a hut. <laughs> We're in a hut. How did we get here? I don't know. We're about to enter our hotel room just for the night. 309. Lucky number. I don't know how, but it is. Whoa. Hey, it's jail. <laughs> it looks like jail, but that's kind of cool. Wait, this is actually crazy. And a brick wall. But don't you worry. We're only here for tonight. Tomorrow, you're really going to understand what I've been saying. Aliens are real. They're real. I'm not going crazy, I swear. Do you understand how crazy this is? She obviously doesn't value it. When we go see them tomorrow, we can only go at a specific time slot. I don't know why. I feel like they're trying to hide something. Well, obviously, like, <laughs> they're aliens, so they don't want to be seen at all. But the fact that they're letting us go, that's an honor. Maybe we can have alien babies. Oh, heck, I'm out. What? They'll have big heads, too. So this is the first hotel I've ever seen where everyone has to share one shower. Like, literally everyone on this floor has this bathroom that I'm in right now. It actually says on the sign right there that they're doing it to help the environment. I'm all for that. I don't know. I just thought that was really dope. We got our robe. I would be lying to say I'm not scared to use a shower only because, like, you never know what people do in the shower. But it's our only option. It's actually not that bad. And also, I'm kind of dumb because if you think about it, if everyone had a shower in their room, I would basically be using the same shower that everyone else has used just in their room, if that makes sense any sense. It is now day number two, and as you guys can see, there is a new addition, aka my glasses, because when I'm meeting these creatures, I need to look like I'm getting down to business. Our mission starts in T minus one hour. We are about to embark on one of the craziest adventures I've ever gone on, and you too. Me too. And yeah, and you too. <gasps> 
include me. And you too. So far, I just want to thank you guys for joining us along with this adventure. I'm just honored that I'm going to be the first person to ever meet a real alien. And the fact that I'm really going to prove you wrong right now. No, I'm going to prove you wrong. There's no alien. As soon as the news hit, I just knew I had to be the first to cover this. I absolutely love you guys. If I don't make it out alive, I just hope that this video reaches my YouTube channel some way or somehow. Let's commence Operation UFO. So me and Destiny have been in this Uber for about, what, 45 minutes? And we are one minute away from the meeting point. Are you nervous? I'm excited. You're excited? Mm -hmm. For what? To see aliens if they're true. If they're true. All right, dude. So I guess we're meeting in a forest. All right. Oh my God. So bad news. The Uber driver did not want to take us any further. He was kind of getting scared because he didn't <laughs> know where we were going. But basically we got out. We're here in the middle of a forest. I have no idea where we're at but I do have the coordinates to where we're supposed to go. So really this is there. beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. I just wanna be quiet for a quick second just so you can hear the ambiance of this place. I love the sound of nature. Bro, I'm actually kinda scared, are we gonna close? Me too, but let me just check the coordinates. The alien sent it to me, so it says to keep following the gravel path that we're on right now, and we should be passing by some water. I hear it, do you hear I it? I hear it, yeah. Hopefully we're going the right way. Bro, look. <gasps> There's the water. We're a creek. We're definitely close by. So we stumbled upon a creek. I think that's what the aliens were talking about. Isn't it just lovely? <laughs> it says we're almost there. I know. How much longer do we have to walk? The trees are so ginormous here. I know they're tall. <laughs> you know, I've been kind of contemplating this in my mind, but why did they want us to come to Portland out of all the places? You know? Maybe because no one really knows about it. Oh, it's like discreet. It was like a ghost town. Shh. They don't want anyone to find out. That's why. Babe. Look, spaceship with the arrow pointing. <laughs> that way. Why is Wait, it all specific? Do you hear that? Wait, shh. That's a sheep. We're definitely almost there. We found the alien's mailbox. Bro, look at it. No way. That's actually cute. So do you believe me now? No. Still. Still no. <laughs> We're definitely nearby. Oh what? my god. Did you not see that right there? What is that? Bro. Bro, that looks like a UFO. Guys, we found it. I'm literally shaking right now. What is that? That's a UFO! That's a real UFO! Why are you laughing, bro? Hold on, hold on. I need a second. I'm literally trembling right now. Bro, are you not seeing this right now? That's actually pretty cool, though. Bro, we are about to make contact for the first time ever in human history with a species that we don't even know about in space. And you're just saying it's cool? <laughs> Are you stupid? I just hope you guys know I love all you guys. Thank you for the support. I can't believe that I am the first person ever to see this. Before we head inside, I am just going to say I am mind boggled right now by the fact that this is actually here. I wasn't lying. Was I lying? Yeah. Okay, true, but bro, that's a UFO. You can't deny that. No, that is a UFO. That is. My heart is racing, but I think we're going to head inside. There's a landing strip right in front where you enter. Babe, do you have any last words? You're so dumb. <laughs> what? Bro, what is this? All right, babe. Enough of the act. I still believe in aliens. I don't know if you do. But basically, I rented out an Airbnb UFO for the night for us to stay in. This is ours. That's actually so cool. Isn't this crazy? Yeah, that actually looks sick. It's time to head inside, give you guys a tour. I'm excited, bro. I'm so I'm excited. I'm excited. This looks sick. Let's go check it out. Let's go. So to kick it off, we have a landing strip. This is how you safely get off the aircraft. But here's the front door. I love how they have like little LED lights that kind of go all the way around. I'll show you guys a little bit later how it looks at night. But Here's the front door. Oh my God, it already looks insane. Don't look inside Okay, yet. okay, okay, my bad. All right, ready? Here we go. <gasps> bro, no this way. place is crazy. <laughs> look at this place. Bro, this is unreal. This looks so cool. Bro, this is legit. It's time to give you guys the official tour. We're gonna start from left to right. To start it off, we have the Lunar Lounge. It's a really cool bar slash lounge area. Even when you're in outer space, there's always time to pop open a cold one with the broskies. Just a little brewski for the broskies, you know what I mean? Here's my impression if I was a bartender in outer space. Hiya, what can I get for you? Can I get a water? Water? <laughs> we don't have none of that up here. What do you have? What else do you want? We have space goo. We have uh, cow's milk. 2% or what? Huh? Whole milk? Or it's whole milk? milk. We don't do 2%. Wait, is that the same thing? Anyway, get out of my face. I'm doing some work. Hey, uh, I guess we have Pizza Hut too. Yeah, if you want some of that. 
You want to continue the tour? Yes. I just absolutely love that they keep the theme going throughout this entire place, as you guys can see with all the accessories. Got a little guy right here holding a shot glass. Got a picture of one of the homies as well. Kind of looks like you. That looks like me? Yeah. I mean, you guys tell me. Moving along, we got our dining area in this little, like, cubby hole right here. It looks like they covered the windows with some sort of shade so the sun's not absolutely blaring in your face, but we got four seats here, all with some Star Wars Rule the Galaxy placemats. Absolutely love it. And we also have the keys to the ship, baby. I'm gonna have to take it for a spin. It says, if lost, please return to my UFO. I'm gonna go ahead and store that in the pocket. Definitely taking this one back home. We also have a cardboard cutout of a little robot that's probably gonna help us throughout our journey here, right? On this side, we have a bed. Yeah, that's our bed. So even though it looks like a cabinet, there's these locks on the side right here. There you go. Boom. And now we just pop this up a little, and here it is. Ooh, it's kind of heavy. Babe, this is where we're going to be sleeping. No way. I just love how all the space in here is actually going to be used. Babe, what do you think so far? I love it. It's so cool. My question is, I wonder how long it took them to build this entire thing. Yeah, it definitely took like over a year. Maybe years. Yeah. Light years. All the details and everything is just so nice. Whoa. Wait, this is crazy. What? Wait, this is it? <laughs> Wait, you're lying. There's like no under thing? Like... No, I think it's just on the floor. But we can sleep on the couch. Oh, true. There's also some couches yeah, to the side. Yo, no way! We have R2-D2 in here! Wow! Who's that? <laughs> You're lying, right? No, nothing. You're lying. Who is that? You're actually lying. Who is it? Bro, I have tried making her watch Star Wars so many times. How do you not know who this is? It's a legend right here. Um, You're lame. Talk to us, R2. I don't even know what this is. R2 definitely doesn't have this inside of him. Is this a mask? Yo, it is. I didn't know they played this up there, man. <laughs> hey, yo. How do I look? You look better, honestly. Really? Yeah. Yo, would you still date me if I look like this? Yeah, you look way better. Steve, this is a closet area. And they provided some costumes, bro. Let me throw this one on. Now, I'll really be in Star Wars. Growing up, the only thing I wanted to be was a Jedi. So, I could finally live out my dreams. I will rule the galaxy. I will find out who's my father. As I am Luke Skywalker. Ooh. Gosh, someone's getting out of here. Someone save me! This lightsaber is ineffective. It's not cutting through her. <gasps> Darth Vader! Come here! <laughs> I have won. Hey! That's my weapon of choice. I just stabbed you. Okay. Why are you yelling at me? Come on, let's keep the tour going. We don't have time for that. We have a couch area. You know, if you want to chill, play some cards. Stuffed UFO right here. I'm guessing this has to be the toilet area because I haven't seen one yet. Going to be taking a lot of space doogies. The mirror has buttons on it. We're in the future, bro. And here's the shower. Nothing crazy. Behind us, they have these things that suck up humans when they abduct them. So if you want to, you know, get in your pod. Honestly, I'm so down. Take me away from Noah. <laughs> Wait, that's actually cool though. Take him away. Magic. <laughs> and over yonder is where all the magic happens in this place. It's the control center. Now you believe me? Move over, Tom. Tom? Tom. That's the person that was contacting you. Oh. I'm sorry, Tom. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, whenever we're here throughout our journey, I can always come over here, flip this switch right here, flip this one up top, flip this one up top, put the blower on, of course. Then you have to type in the secret passcode. Then you have to come over to your right. I know exactly what I'm doing, by the way. The tube stack has to be on. Volume has to be all the way down. Master volume has to be to the middle. Treble's fine. Middle has to be at five. Bass has to be at five. And the power, obviously, has to be off. And one last thing. This one is very important. I've always wanted to become a star growing up. And I'm not talking about a celebrity. I'm talking about a real star. Speaking of celebrities, we have space entertainment. It's our TV right here, baby. Go ahead and press the power button. I think it's out of service. But we also have some music right here if you want. Oh, wait, it actually plays out of that speaker right there. I didn't even know that was a speaker, honestly. I haven't seen a radio like this in so long. Definitely need a software update. We also have a CD player for all of our tunes. And the TV actually started working, so there we go. But also, we have a place that we can put a gaming setup. You know, we got our desk. If you ever want to come over here and stream some video games, you can do that. That basically wraps up the tour, but now it's time to really just survive here overnight. Cannot wait to see it at night, too. Same. Also, here in the restroom, they have real moon rocks, bro. Damn! This is nuts. So I was just chilling, and I found a book from other travelers that have stayed here. I just want to see what they've said. Bro, just take a look at this thing. It's lit. Open it up. We have come in peace from a world called Texas. We found your people to be the most hospital we have ever encountered. Your spaceship was like anything we have ever seen. We enjoyed our short visit and regret that our ship called an airplane that will be lifting off early tomorrow morning. Ooh, okay. We got some artwork in here. We're getting creative. This one is very recent. It's like two days old. Thank you so much. For a moment, we were shown a glimpse of worlds not of our own. A UFO experience beyond comparable. A cosmic mystery for all to share. 
by Kevin and Lily. P.S. I found a quarter in your driveway. Would like to return it to its rightful owner. Bro really taped a quarter to the page. If that's not a lick, I don't know what is. Give me this thing, bro. Hold on, I need that. Bro, what just happened? Was I dreamy? So you're telling me aliens are fake still, man? Damn. Thought it was on to something. Ah, I guess we'll see what I dream next.